enjoyable and most important uh, part of my visit. Um, I commend you for your um, enthusiasm uh, and energy. It, it's palpable. You feel it the moment you come into the room. Uh, because um, the future is yours uh, and we all know that the future will depend on your entrepreneurial skills on your initiative and on your enterprise the state doesn't create jobs. Governments don't create wealth. As we've embarked ourselves on economic reform, facing very, very high levels of unemployment, for every job that we've lost in the public sector, in the state sector, three have been created in the private sector. And we now have a huge growth in employment Many of those jobs are self-employed, entrepreneurs, increasingly so. Um, we now have the highest level of employment ever in the United Kingdom. More people at work than ever before in our history. Uh, and so I'm certain that that is the way forward. And I'm very, very encouraged indeed at the emphasis that you are placing on women and empowering women. Uh, I'm prejudiced because I'm the father of two daughters and I want them to have a bright future. <laughs> but why would any community or any society rely on only half the initiative and enterprise and skills of its population? So I'm very much in favour of the emphasis that you've clearly placed on empowering women. Um, but. Uh, I'm very, very encouraged by what you've told me. I have one or two questions. Um, to what extent, so the first question is, to what extent some of the skills that you've spoken about, um, to what extent do you think actually the education system itself ought to have empowered you with that sort of um, uh, positive thinking that you've respond, that you, you've spoken of? Why, why would someone need to go to and do a course after graduating from school or university uh, to think positively. Shouldn't thinking positively be something you'd learn at school? 